Today we're taking another look at the SC collection from Martin, both the SC13E Burst and also another look at the SC10, both road series, both cool offsets that I think have gotten a little less attention from the OG SC13. Let's do it. How's it going, y'all? My name is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at Alamo Music dot com and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel check out our patreon check out our podcast the fretboard confessional teespring a uh, special custom design swag as chris likes to say so take a look at the links below but right now we're talking about the sc13e special and its lower priced companion the sc10e um, if you haven't seen the videos we've done countless videos on the sc13e as it first arrived to us and then throughout the last couple of years since its first introduction in NAMM. Um, and then this past year, we saw the introduction of two new models, well, three more or less, um, the SC13E Special and the SC10E. I'll get into that one in a second. But if you did not see our somewhat recent video on the Special, um, check that out. All these videos will be linked above throughout the, what I'm talking about here. But I have not gotten to show off the Burst yet. Now, when they put out this uh, SC13E Special, um, they did a natural top and a burst top version. Um, we did the natural top because that's what came to us first. I really enjoyed that guitar. But we recently got the Burst in, and I kind of wanted to show it off in its own video because it is by far the best set up SC13 or just SC model in general that I've gotten to play right out of the box it played fantastic now it's worth noting one a big benefit of the sc collection is the i believe it's called the sure align linear dovetail neck joint whatever it's called pure align sure line it's something like that the benefit of that entire neck system was the adjustability and uh, i think you can probably see you have seen many times this heel cut here um, and kind of what you're working with. On the inside, you have a whole shim system. So it was designed to be adjustable. Now, a lot of people's complaints have been that you can't do it yourself. You can't order the shims and adjust it yourself. You have to take it to a Martin Service Center. Um, feel what you will about that. I think a lot of people would like to be able to just go on the website, order some shims, do their thing, because a lot of people like to work on their guitars. Um, I think the benefit, and who knows what it's going to look like down the road if they open up that kind of service parts line. Um, but the good thing is, one, we have been given the opportunity, I think a lot of dealers have, even though we're not Martin Warranty Centers, that may change in the future, um, you, you can possibly go to certain dealers, find this SC adjustment kit, and if there's a tech there um, that knows how to work on them, it should be a much easier fix than something uh, that does not have this neck, you know, sort of system. Maybe that's a good discussion to have in the comments. Uh, you know, should Martin make these much easily, uh, easier adjustable for the person that bought it? Either way, they're doing something to make sure when a tech brings one of these in, very unique system. Um, sorry, when a customer brings it in to a tech, um, that they train people and they can be adjusted properly. So, SC13 E special. Um, the difference here between the SC13 standard model, it's not a standard, the non-special model, um, one, mainly the uh, veneer of the back and sides. These are all still Road Series guitars. The original SC13 came with Koa veneer. Um, the specials come with Zeracote veneer. And I cringe to myself every time I say that word because I know that it's just not sounding right. So let's call it ZC. You got a ZC veneer on here versus the Koa of the regular 13. Really nice look. Um, I'm a big fan of that. And yes, it is veneer. It's a Road Series guitar. It's not solid ZC or Koa, but it's a really nice look. Um, the difference in the specials as well, that aperture um, rosette has the inlaid wood to match the back instead of the sort of purloid blue and white. So you still have the white, but you have a nice Zeracote veneer in your rosette. 
Um, the special burst has this burst top. I think it looks much better in person than it has in any of the stock photos that I've seen. So that's another thing that I was pleasantly surprised about. It's sort of this honey burst. I think on their website, it literally just says burst. Um, you know, if you're a fan of Martin, it's pretty similar to their amber tone from the standard line. Um, and again, a lot of people were upset that we did not get an all solid wood version. Who knows what's to come? But they did make some upgrades um, with the sort of aesthetics of the guitar. There are two other big upgrades that were made from the regular SC13s. Um, this has an LR Bags Element pickup, which is a nice upgrade. And the open gear tuners on this guitar, all of them do have open gear tuners that are pretty and nice. These have a little more fancy of a design. And they're ratioed tuners. So we've talked about this before, but each one of these uh, different tuning machines corresponding to different strings has a different gear ratio. Something interesting. We have not seen that a ton. We talked about it on the podcast. That's a cool thing um, and probably is based in a reality of not every string needs the same high or low ratio. So you can see ton of teeth down here. Not as many teeth over here. Different ratio open gear tuners and a really pretty kind of button design on there. But what I wanted to compare this to instead of the regular SC13 is the SC10. Now, this was introduced as the uh, SC13 E Special was, as a higher end version of the SC model. This is a lower end version. Now, the price difference here is pretty, you know, relatively crunched into the same region. These are all over a thousand, less than two thousand. Um, I believe this one's $11.99. Obviously, check the website to make sure I'm right on that. And the special goes for $19.99 with the burst. A little bit less if you go for the natural top. Bursts, it costs money, I guess. So, SC10, um, kind of bare bones version of the SC. Black open gear tuners, which are really nice, but they're not ratioed. Um, you do have a black and white rosette. This is not the uh, wood grain or wood veneer rosette. Um, this has a Fishman MXT pickup. I will confirm that and tell you on the other end, but this is a Fishman pickup as opposed to the LR bags. And this one also has Koa on the back and sides, um, Koa veneer, and it's pretty basic Koa. We've been uh, conditioned to think that every piece of Koa needs to be AA grade. Taylor K24 CE Limited. It's still a pretty wood, um, and it's satin finish. Same neck system, um, same scale length and nut width. The bones of the guitar are very, very similar. Um, and seeing that they're both veneer, it's not even really different wood combinations. Um, you got Sitka spruce top on both and veneer back and sides. Same neck material, uh, satin neck on both of them. This one is a satin finish body. The special has a gloss finish like the regular SC13E did as well. But part of the big difference we're talking about is the pickup, the Fishman versus the LR bags. So I'm going to demo both of these, run direct so you can hear the true sound of the pickup um, because we've done mic demos on all of these guitars. If you want to see what it sounds like acoustic, go check out one of those videos. But this is in part um, a pickup comparison. So let's take a listen to the Fishman on the SC10 versus the LR bags on the SC13E burst. We'll talk about it on the other side.
So there you have it. There's a little bit on both of these guitars. Both set up really well. I feel like one of the problems with a few of the first runs of the SC13 that we got in is I think probably since it is an advanced neck setup system, um, a few of them were really high action, really low action, and it's something that needed to get adjusted. These came right out of the box, perfectly set up. I really dig the SC10 because if you've watched this channel at all, I'm a fan of very no frills, bare bones sort of guitars. And this is already a pretty wacky design with the offset body. If you don't know what offset is, you see this curve right here d is not uh, parallel to this curve, sort of in the style of a Jazzmaster, a Jaguar. This is an offset body, pretty cool. Um, the big old neck heel carve down there, something that you don't experience from a, any other Martin guitar. So we've talked a lot about the risks that they've taken with these. I think they've paid off, and I appreciate that they added something that's a little more accessible. A lot of people wanted these guitars, but felt like I think it was $13.99 when the SC13 started. Uh, felt like that was a little too much, so you lose a couple of the aesthetics, but keep the overall bones of the guitar, get a couple hundred dollars off. But I think uh, the when I first got the special with the natural top, I was a little less impressed. Um, I liked it, but I didn't see why somebody would pay the extra for a zero cote veneer. Um, and then we got the Burst, and I really enjoy the Burst, first because of the aesthetic. I think it's a tasteful Burst. It's uh, sometimes acoustic guitar manufacturers throw like a really hard black, red, yellow, intense Burst that belongs on Stratocaster. I think a acoustic guitar needs a more earthy Burst, a little more subtle, so I think they did a really good job with that. And um, I think when we first did those demos, we did demo them uh, through a microphone. It might have been a little back and forth, microphone and pickup, but I'm sure Chris did that demo. We do a ton of videos and I forget, but I assume that Chris was the one that took the lead on that one and I got jealous, so finally I got my opportunity to present the LR Bags versus the Fishman. And my main thoughts are that the Fishman sounded really solid. It had a little brightness and snappy high end that might get a little sharp through a PA, a little extra treble on there, and that's what EQing's for. But we just left the settings exactly the same on this monitor amp that I was using, and I didn't mess with the tone controls on either of these. So I preferred the sound of the LR bags. Again, maybe that's something that I've been conditioned to think because we do a ton of LR bags installs. They're incredible pickups, but this is not an anthem, this is an element, which is their you know more accessible pickup. I thought that it sounded a little more balanced to me, a little more you know girth in the lows and mids, and part of it that I'm glad about is that they were both set up really well, so it wasn't you know the feeling of playing the guitar that was influencing how I was uh, kind of hearing it. I think they're both set up pretty perfect. And I did think that the LR bags was a little more balanced of a pickup system. So for me, if I was going to get one of these, while I enjoy the uh, unadorned, very basic satin finish of the SC10, it was the burst on this one and the pickup noise or the pickup tone that kind of sold me on the SC13E burst special, special burst, whatever you want to call it. Um, now, I've got a lot of friends here in town that have picked these guitars up. Uh, to name one, Michael Alanese picked up an SC13E, the regular one. Now, he's a uh, guitarist that I really admire here in town. He works for our competition, so you know I'm not just blowing somebody up for no reason. We're fighting against him in a different guitar store, but he picked up one of these guitars, and I think he makes it sound really, really great, and they're perfect for the solo performer or the front man that is playing a little bit toned down, more acoustic, mellow t uh, tunes, but wants to throw in some lead in there and all that. And these are really built to move from electric over to acoustic and not lose any of the, the feel and the bendability and the fast, you know, this neck and entire system is built to go fast. So um, what you're getting, which is very cool, is the same exact feel. Um, you're not getting a different neck carve a neck finish or anything that might affect how fast or leady you can play. Um, so I like the SC10 because it was very basic, a little bit lower end, 
but all the same important bones. And I like the special because it's just a kicked up more luxurious version and it's got a nicer pickup. So like I said, I was sold on the special burst because of those reasons. If the burst wasn't ar around and I had to choose between the regular special with the natural and the, uh, you know, I'm leaving out the regular SC13 with the Coa veneer. So SC13E special, natural versus the SC10, I'd probably go for the SC10 because at that point, What's the difference, except for the pickup? But I'd like to hear y'all's thoughts in the comments below. I just spit out a bunch of nonsense about my opinions on these guitars, and I'm being diplomatic. I like them both. It took me a long time to get sold on the SC body style, but I'm seeing now there is a real purpose for these guitars, and there are a lot of players here in town and all over the place that I've seen playing them, and they make them sound very, uh, very, very good. So. Let me know which one you like more. We got both of these in stock right now and the regular SC13s. And finally, supply chains freeing up, so I know that we're gonna be getting some more. If we're out at the time that you're looking for one, let us know, we'll get you on a list because I'm pretty sure that regularly scheduled orders will be fulfilled and we will have these available. So let us know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Visit us on alamomusic.com. Give us a call, send us an email, like the videos, do all that stuff. We love to hear from you guys and get some interaction. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.